Hello everyone, welcome to another video from whatacker.com. We're looking ahead to the FA Cup final between Chelsea and Liverpool this weekend, as well as a bunch of Premier League matches that are taking place on Sunday. We're going to be going crazy with the bet builders this weekend, along with some um, Premier League accumulator bets. We've discussed it on the Saturday shortlist already, so watch out for that video. And I'm here to run you through all of the FA Cup and Premier League games taking place with a best bet and a correct score. Let's start off with the FA Cup final taking place between Liverpool and Chelsea. The teams have met three times already this season. It's been three draws, so we're going to go for another draw. Um, we think Chelsea are probably a bit too big on the um, win draw win market here. They're certainly capable of uh, serving up a big performance despite their uh, the fact they've tailed off recently. They look very strong at Ellen Road, admittedly against 10 men, but Thomas Tuchel will have the team rallied and ready for revenge in this game. Um, could easily go to extra time and possibly penalties again. We're going to go for a 1-1 scoreline, but the draw certainly makes the most appeal here. Looking ahead to the Sunday Premier League games, and the first of these takes place at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium between Tottenham and Burnley. Despite the fact that Antonio Conte's side have got a uh, North London derby on Thursday night and a very quick turnaround time here, we still expect them to do the job against the Burnley side, who will offer little in the way of a scoring threat on the road. They did win at Watford recently but they were 1-0 down in that game and really struggled to uh, make inroads until later in the game. We think that Tottenham should be able to comfortably achieve a victory here but without conceding so we'll go for a 2-0 win as far as that's concerned. Looking ahead to some of the later games we'll go for an Aston Villa win when they beat um, take on Crystal Palace, hopefully beating Crystal Palace for our tip. Um, a 2-0 win here looks to be on the cards. Villa look quite strong against Liverpool despite losing on Tuesday night, having previously won 3-1 away at Turf Moor. Crystal Palace have only won four away games this season. Yes, they won at the Etihad, but more often than not, they flattered to deceive on the road. So we'll go for a Villa win as far as this game's concerned. Looking at the game between Leeds and Brighton and Hove Albion, I can't believe that Brighton are regarded as the outsiders here. It can only be down to the fact that Leeds' need is far greater than the Seagulls, but it doesn't escape our attention that Brighton have won three of their past four away games and these have been good teams that they've been beating including Arsenal and Tottenham away from home. We cannot pass this opportunity by to get with Brighton in some shape or form. I recommend a Brighton win. I think they might even win this game something like 3-0 but if you want to go for Brighton draw no bet or Brighton all the draw um, that's your choice as to how safe you want to play this bet. Uh, we're going to look at Watford versus Leicester as well and Leicester City look Ob uh, obvious value at a shade of odds against. Um, at Vicarage Road, Watford might have stopped the rot by drawing 0-0 against Everton on Wednesday night, but it wasn't convincing. They didn't have a single shot on target. Le Leicester certainly did when they beat Norwich 3-0. Jamie Vardy was at the double along with James Madison. We think Leicester should prove too strong for the relegated Hornets at Vicarage Road. West Ham go up against Manchester City. Um, uh, Man City are really short for this game and understandably that they're, they're strong favourites. They did a number on Wolves winning 5-1 during the week. Um, we're going to go for the... Well, we're going to go for West Ham plus one and a half on the Asian handicap which means that they can afford to lose by a goal and we'll still win with this bet. We'll go for a 1-1 draw correct score prediction. It's just based on price as much as anything. Yes, City are the likely winners. Yes, they're in devastating form including Kevin De Bruyne but um, West Ham might be able to produce... A more spirited performance. Let's not take into account that a lot of their recent poor results have been down to their Europa League involvement. Uh, one other 2pm kickoff on Sunday and that's at Molyneux. A bit of a dead rubber between Wolverhampton Wanderers and Norwich. Wolves were um, ripped a new one against Manchester City but they should be able to bounce back with three points against a relegated Norwich side who've pretty much given up the ghost for the season. A 2-0 win for Wolves and a Wolves win to nil look to be along the right lines. Finally, Everton-Brentford. Um, tricky one to call insofar as that Brentford are a slightly better team. They've been in excellent form recently. They've won six of the last nine matches. Everton couldn't go and beat a relegated Watford side at Vicarage Road, but um, we're going to go for the draw in this game at the prices. Uh, a 1-1 draw wouldn't surprise us between um, these teams. Everton did beat the Bees in the FA Cup uh, a while ago, but Brentford are in much better shape now and um, Everton aren't convincing um, when it comes to scoring goals so um, they might be able to edge it 1-0 Everton in, in at Goodison Park where they've been traditionally stronger under Frank Lampard uh, but we'd be more happy to go for the draw. So keep visiting Wataka this weekend um, where you'll find lots of tips and bet builders 
um, as we sort of draw towards the end of the football season. Some massive games on the horizon. Obviously, Saturday's FA Cup. Sheffield United are playing Nottingham Forest. There's a bet builder for that. Um, there's um, there's going to be playoff final stuff, Champions League final, Europa League final. So keep uh, returning to the site. Make sure you sign up for the emails. And uh, we'll keep uh, producing daily tips for you to enjoy completely free of charge. Thanks for watching this video. Good luck with all your weekend bets. And please remember to gamble responsible. Cheers for now, guys.